Welcome to another Nature Discovery Screencast. This is episode number five. Look over my shoulder and watch as I look for the pure beauty found in nature from the raw video taken on one of my photo walks. The date of this photo walk was January 16, 2017, and it took place at the Edith J. Carrier Arboretum located at James Madison University in Harrisonburg, Virginia, USA. All right. On this photo walk, it was uh, early morning, pretty well overcast. Lighting not uh, particularly good. Dark and dreary would be another way to describe it. But we've got uh, at least three different sets of critters here that we can look at today. And uh, the first critter drew me to the area just with this mournful cry. I've heard this before out of squirrels, especially if they're trapped in the woods with uh, an owl or a hawk nearby. And uh, the only way to describe it is just a mournful cry. I uh, had trouble with uh, the lighting here when when it's overcast, a lot of uh, shadow, well not shadow, but just dark areas around the trees and a bright, bright sky, you get a lot of this with <laughs> bright, bright sky and uh, barely see the uh, subject you're looking at here. One of the tricks with the camera though is to uh, really frame the photo so that there's less of the bright sky allowing the compensation in the camera to work and really bring up and uh, expose the uh, subject uh, so you can see them better here with the lighting. And I'll just play a little bit of his mournful cry here. They can cry like that for uh, quite a long period of time. And you can see I've got quite a bit of video there. So I'm going to uh, create a favorite here that I could potentially use in a video, a little segment of this video used in a larger uh, mini documentary on uh, the eastern gray squirrel that I do at some time in the future here and uh, we'll call that segment uh, done and uh, the uh, squirrels looked at the camera a little bit more you get a, a frontal view of them here doing the same mournful screech looks tired <laughs> looks like he's been chased around for a while he's got himself a nice little perch there all right so we'll uh make this one here all right now we have a uh, carolina wren let's see here down in the leaf litter, hops up on a log, goes back toward us. I don't know, cute little backside there. <laughs> well, let's look at what he's doing in slow motion. Just looking around, always looking around. There he's giving us his profile. <laughs> he's shaking his tail for us. You can see the coloration underneath his tail with the white and uh, almost black there.
This is 60 frames per second, so 60 individual photographs, you might say, per second. So it's really slow motion. Get him looking around. Nice little sequence to use. And there he does a fly off. I like that little sequence. Uh, I'm going to start him up here and call it an in. And he flies off there and call it an out. And now we've got a little favorite uh, that we can use sometime. Ah, the mallard duck. Everybody's favorite duck, just because <laughs> they're everywhere. Seem like they're everywhere. <laughs> okay, he's waving at us. Beautiful coloration in the wings, though. Uh, predominantly gray looking. But look at the look at the blue in his wings there. Beautiful, beautiful blue. Tucked away you can't even uh, see it there. And they seem to be just uh, putting around the pond here. Uh, look at the females there. They also have that uh, beautiful coloration in their wings there. Uh, let's see here. We've got these two kind of pushing at each other. Look at the uh, curled up tail feathers. Signature of the mallard. Got a little curly cue in, in the tail there. There you can just see them. Uh, these two males are going to push at each other here. One went underwater. <laughs> just frolicking around hard to keep them in frame when they're moving so fast creating quite the ruckus that noise you hear as I'm going frame by frame is actually the audio that's on the the track and uh played at super super slow motion it kind of is like a motorboat effect that you hear and whenever you hear that you know I'm going through a frame at a time to look at the the action of what's happening here so much action happens that we hardly ever see or have the time to absorb and I just love going through and watching the annex of uh, these critters here in, in slow motion. And you can capture photos of what's happening here, but uh, nothing beats a video in slow motion to see the beauty of the, the creature. And they're... Uh, their habits. Alright, so we're going to have some good video there. Uh, all sorts of video we can use here. We'll mark the whole thing up as a favorite. And let's look at our favorites here now.